The wedding day goes by fast. Truly, life does. And many people remark later on how fleeting the celebration seemed to be. So I'd like you to take one moment to just to take it all in. Take a breath and relax for a moment. And really let this feeling sink into your hearts and minds. And look at each other and take in this moment. Well, first off, I would like to say thank you to Cindy for marrying me. And we, of course, would like to give a special thanks to our parents uh, for all their love and support over the years. And we clearly wouldn't be here without them. Thank you everyone involved for making this night so spectacular. Thank you everyone who's traveled near and far to celebrate with us. Tom and Cindy are so happy we're all here. Speaking of Tom and Cindy, I cannot put into words how happy I am that this day has finally come. We met at the tender age of 16 and although we lost contact for a number of years, I distinctly remember how quickly we reunited at my cousin Anna's wedding, screaming at the top of our lungs, in our cars, in the middle of the parking lot. It was an indescribable reconnection. And so this was the beginning of our sisterhood friendship. Hey, sexy. I missed you. Oh my God, you look so handsome. You look so beautiful. You're embarking on a new journey. This is a journey no two have traveled before. It is unique to you. It is up to you to make the most of your life together. Dream big dreams. Love like there is no tomorrow and become the best people you know how to be. I join with everyone here today in extending our love and support and our wish for your relationship to flourish and grow through a long, happy life together. We haven't made it to every table yet, but Everyone, let's bring it on. We're gonna party till 2 a.m. I am so blessed to have such amazing people in my life. You ladies have entered my life at different times and I've just been so just overwhelmed by the amount of love and just encouragement um, during my good and bad times in my life <laughs> and I just want to say cheers and thank you for being here today and every day of my life because you guys mean so much to me. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Love you. and my two amazing daughters. Be able to be here, yes, us too. You know, to be a part of this as well. Like we love you. We love you. We all love you guys so much. Thanks for including us in your special day. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. We grew up together, played together, learned together, and always complimented each other, always competed against one another, fought each other, and defended one another, and helped hide numerous things from mom and dad, especially dad. <laughs>
But as we got older, school, soccer, theater, different circle of friends, jobs, college, and basically life was taking us into different directions. Each time you came home uh, over the holidays just to visit, I wouldn't see you that much because you were out with your friends or I was working. But that all changed when you brought Sydney into our lives. I've seen you more often, spend more quality time with you, and the bond that we had is getting back and I hope it keeps getting stronger. Dearest Cindy, the past several years with you have been the best years of my life. Thank you for bringing such joy, excitement, happiness, and love to each of our days together. I've grown to be a better man since being with you and vow to continue to do so in our upcoming years. You are such an amazing person and there is no one in the world with whom I could ever see myself spending my life. We have created such wonderful memories, not only in our lives, but in the lives of those around us, through your warmth, humor, love, and generosity. Your talent and the way you make others' lives better is unparalleled. I love you. I love your family. I love us. My dearest Tom, in just a few hours, you're officially my husband. As your wife, I look forward to making a lifetime of memories with you. You've made me so happy. I will always cherish the journey leading to this day, with you as my mentor, friend, boyfriend, and fiance. Thank you for the most amazing adventures of my life. Whether it's a shooting star gazing in Costa Rica, glacier trekking in Patagonia, helicoptering over New York City in the Grand Canyon, boating in the Poconos, zip lining across the beaches of Haiti, rappelling down a waterfall in Puerto Rico, swimming with sharks and pigs in the Bahamas, skiing in Vermont and Vail, biking in Vancouver, or just simply laughing hysterically over an Elmo mural. It was all with you. My best memory of all will always be on June 21st, 2021, when you proposed to me in front of our families. Tom Spala, you truly are the love of my life. Our adventures will continue as husband and wife. If you're supposed to marry your better half, Tom, tomorrow, surpassing that expectation. Cindy, you're fucking amazing. We are gathered here today as family and friends to celebrate the joining of Tom and Cindy in marriage and to rejoice in their making this important lifelong commitment. Let us all go inside our hearts and fill them with love and good wishes for Cindy and Tom. May you always find happiness and contentment as you explore the depths of friendship and love for one another. Tom, thank you for coming into my life. You're the best thing I didn't even know I needed in my life. You, you came during a time in which life was really hard for me. But it's not just only your love for me, but it's your love for Megan and Madison that just makes everything so real. And I love you so much more for that. People in life, they... They, they search aimlessly for that one person just to grow old with and be with. But for me, I got lucky. I found someone just to keep me young. And you, you, just, you just do it for me. I vow to be an amazing best friend a lover, a caregiver, a travel buddy, a business partner, a co-parent, and of course, a designated driver. I 
I vow to always lend a helping hand whenever you need anything. And lastly, although I bleed purple and gold, I vow to always wear scarlet and gray during all the Ohio State football games. I love you. Cindy, I just want to start off by saying that you mean the world to me, your family means the world to me, and I don't want a life or future without you in it. There are so many things that drew me to you, and so many that keep me wanting more and more of you. You are extremely loving and exceedingly generous to a fault. I've never met anyone who thinks of others as much as you do. You are creative and intelligent. Your work ethics and accomplishments wow me on a daily basis. I vow to always be the first person to stand by your side. I vow to put you first before all others. I vow to be someone you can trust and upon whom you can rely, to care for you and protect you always, to love your family as mine and treat them as an extension of your being, to never give up on you no matter how hard the path you choose may be. I will always be there to help you achieve your goals and aspirations. And finally, I vow to say I'm sorry, even when I know I'm not the one who is wrong. <laughs> Even when life becomes stressful, as the last year has shown us, I know that we can make it through anything. My future is brighter, knowing that you'll be forever part of it. I look forward to many more years ahead with you, and I am forever joined with you and intend to live my life as such. By the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. Cindy told me about you. We were walking home from some event and it started pouring down raining, but we continued to stand there and just talk because I was so engaged seeing the excitement in her eyes, the butterflies when you know he's the one. When I first met you, I didn't want to open up or give you a chance. At first, it seemed like you were trying too hard and being overly friendly. Not something I'm used to. But after getting to know you, I realized how wrong I was. You were one of the most loving, caring, giving, intelligent, sweetest, most generous, outgoing, personable women anyone could ever have the chance of getting to know. And now, I can happily call you my sister. Yeah. Welcome to the family, sis. I love you. I felt so happy she found someone who supports her, who believes and adores her, and all her crazy, crazy, craziness. Mom, your gentleness balances out her fiery side. I think all of our friends and I can agree that our lives are so much richer with you in it. We also want to thank you because without all of you, this doesn't mean very much. We still have the love for each other, but 
we wouldn't have anyone to celebrate it with, and that's the most important part of all of this. Tom and Cindy, you are an inspiration to all of us. You're just so grateful together. You're a gorgeous couple, and you radiate strength and love for one another. I love you. I love everyone here. Thank you so much. And to my bridesmaids and groomsmen. I am not only honored to be a significant part of your special day, but a part of your lives. I am beyond excited for you both to enter the rest of your lives in the next chapter as husband and wife. You know, supposed to get your ass out. <laughs> yeah, or pull down your pants. What you mean, what she's in the wedding? <laughs> the craziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, welcome to Philly. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I'd say the butt is probably clean butt. It's good, bro. <laughs> Thank you.